It's approaching quarter to seven. The UK job market hit a record high last month with almost three quarters of a million jobs up for grabs. But a closer look at the numbers reveals a worrying north-south divide. There's been an employment boom in the south with nine out of ten top places for jobs now being in the southern part of the UK. With some areas such as Cambridge, Reading and Oxford having twice as many jobs available than job seekers. Aberdeen is the only northern city with more work available than there are applicants, thanks to its strong oil and energy industries. But elsewhere, it is a different picture, with nine of the worst areas to find jobs being in the north. In places such as Sunderland, Hull and Salford, jobs are few and far between, and competition is fierce with 20 job seekers for every single vacancy. I'm from the south myself. I've been in Manchester for like 11 years. And it's so much harder to find a job. I've been off the office jobs, warehouse jobs, shell stacking, but you know, been here eight months and still nothing. It's quite tough trying to find work, especially even if you've got skills, it's just trying to, hard trying to find work. Well, now joined by businesswoman and former Apprentice winner Michelle Dubry. Morning to you. Lovely to see you. Hello. You were born and bred in Hull. Yes. But you left to get work. In fact, it'd probably be a good time to go back now. It's a city of culture. But I know, yeah. Why did you leave in the first place? Um, so I was always a very ambitious person um, and I didn't do very well on the qualification front. Uh, I didn't take school as seriously as I, I probably should have done. And I really struggled to get work. Um, I started doing a modern apprenticeship, which was fantastic. And I just wanted to develop and develop and experience different things, different um, cities, different experiences. So I left and I've lived all over the UK and I've lived um, overseas as well for work. So always travelled around. But in far, insofar as being in Britain, it was the South that pulled you in? Yeah, I think um, for me, Hull is, is my home, always has been, always will be, and if I end up back there, I'll be very happy. But I want to just experience different things. I work for myself now, and I also work as a consultant, so a lot of my clients are based in the South. Mm. But you see, you know, as you say, you're ambitious, you know, you're very, very successful. Yeah. Uh, you're unusual in that respect. You know, the majority of people won't get your success, but they do still need a job. Absolutely. Uh, and, yeah. and why do you think it is that perhaps business people, big companies, don't provide more in the north? What is it that is holding the north back, do you think? Well, I think the north south divide has been there for such a long time, and it's not there just in terms of employment, it's there in terms of house prices, and there's all different aspects. But it's cheaper up north, you see. I would have thought that it's more attractive. Absolutely. Absolutely. In some respects. Yeah, so the government is doing lots of different things. So there's things like enterprise zones at the moment where you can actually they pick an area and they do things like lower business rates, super fast broadband to try and encourage companies to to go into those cities. So that needs to continue. Also as well, people need to start considering if there's not the job opportunities, can I essentially employ myself? Can I become freelance? Can I become self-employed? There are opportunities in the absence of jobs to start creating your own as well. Although should people just consider moving about? I mean, you're from Hull, we both grew up in the Northwest and we all moved down here to get work. Should other people consider that and not feel so guilty about perhaps leaving where they're from? Gosh, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with moving around for work. I think if you're younger, especially if you've got no dependents, then it is quite easy to do. It is an upheaval, but it can always be achieved. I went from Hull and I went to Stoke, I went to London, and I've lived around. Mm. And each time, you know, it is a, you have to take a deep breath and get a bit of confidence, but mm. you do make new friends, you know, you do kind of, you establish yourself, but, you know, you still keep your home and your links to your home as well, and that's fine. And then you end up with what people call the desolate north, don't you? Yes. You know, where there's a brain drain. Clever people well, like you. You leave. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely not suggesting people should leave the North. And actually, The Economist did an article a couple of months ago where they were saying, stop investing in places like Hull, where I'm from, mm. encourage people yeah, to leave. About that. Yeah, I think that's absolutely wrong. I think people, you know, if you want to leave, you know, fine. Also, if you want to move somewhere, if you want to move to Hull or anywhere like that, absolutely. So it's not necessarily about encouraging people to leave, it's about encouraging people to be more entrepreneurial, mm. and it's about the government working with business to create these new employment opportunities. And business could be missing a trick by not being in these places in the first place. Thank you very much indeed, Michelle. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Still to come, we meet the toddler who in the first place. Thank you very much indeed, Michelle. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Still to come, we meet the toddler who desperately needed a transplant and got one just in time, even though the odds were stacked against him. And after 7 o'clock, we'll be finding out how these are going to light up that Christmas tree. Alad and Lorraine, I hope, will be explaining everything to you. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.